Hello there all, welcome back to EOS Acro. In this video, we are continuing with our table digital asset. Here, we are going to add in a circular tabletop and circular legs for the table and also add in a few error corrections. So let's get started. We have spent a lot of time in the previous video understanding polygons and normals. So let's see what's the significance of this. I'll go to my table digital asset and the normals are a bit too big so let me decrease their size. Now I'll walk you through every single different object node which we have and how normals are affecting them. First off we have the top base which is facing up because the normal's up and we apply thickness to it in positive z which means the thickness moves in the direction of the normal so we have this. Next we add a poly extrude to get all the sides so the sides are facing outwards because of which positive in z axis makes sure all the things are facing out. Perfect. But the problem is when I come to the leg. Here we can see the actual cross section of the leg is facing up. Now when I actually apply the height taper, this particular node is negative in value because of which the extrude is happening in the wrong direction which means all the normals are facing inside. We don't want this so I need to apply a reverse node right after this so that all my normals are facing the right way. Now when I come to the final object, all my normals are proper and now I can use this uh, object and expect it to behave the right way. Now the next thing I want to implement with the table is that I wanted to also have an option for a circular top. So let's go ahead and implement this. I'll go ahead put in a circle and I'll enable this and as you can see the circle is sitting uh, crossways on the construction plane. I'll put it flat down and now if I connect it to thickness you can see that nothing works. The reason for that is the circle right now is just a primitive. It is not a polygon or NURBS. So I'll go ahead put it as a polygon object and immediately my tabletop works in. But the problem right now is that if I come back to my circle you can see it's facing down whereas a tabletop is supposed to face on top. So I need to make sure that I'm using the normals error correction thing which I created here previously there on the table. So coming back here I need to use all these three nodes as a single node there to correct this. Remember that you also need to use the OBJ node. The reason we change the name is so that we can use it in the expression. This node is also important. So I need to select all of these, create a subnet, I'll call this normals check. Okay, once I have the normals check done, I'll copy this node, come back to my object, turn it off and go into my uh, table digital asset. Let me paste that here. And now I can connect this after the circle. You can see the circle is now facing up. Anything I connect into this will always keep facing up. So that is done. Now if I come back to my extrude everything works. Now the next thing I want to implement is that the circle right now is just one unit in radius. I don't really want that. I want it to be a oval table which means I need to be able to give length and width which can be given using two radius values here in a circle. So I'll go to the top base, open its parameters. You can see I have expressions for the size and length and width. So I'll go copy this, go to the circle, put these values. But remember that circle, the value you're giving is a radius which means this value gets doubled for the entire length. So I need to divide that by two to get the actual length. Now I'll do the same thing to the other radius and divide that by two. Now I have a tabletop which is circular and uh, I can go ahead also put this as my template for getting copied. I come back to my final and now I have a circular table. Now the next step is making sure that if I come over to the digital asset I have an option to select whether if I want a rectangular or a circular table. So let's implement how we can do that using a switch node. Let me first start by bringing in a switch node and if you see here at the top the switch node has multiple arrows as input which means I can put in multiple inputs. So the inputs I want to use are the circle and the top so I'll connect all of these in and also I don't really want these guys connected to anything else right now so let me disconnect them. Coming over to my switch, if I switch between the numbers here at the top you can see that the, the actual inputs get changed and then I get the final output. All I need to do now is connect this into my normals check and going into my normals check if I switch over you can see my actual tabletop just changes. 
coming over, I also want the same thing to be implemented here on the copy. So I'll go select the normal check, put that again into my copy. Coming into my final table, only selecting the switch node, I can switch between the rectangular and the circular table. Now the next step is I need to have an option here on the digital asset where I can select whether if I want a rectangular or a circular table top. Now to have an option to change a rectangular or a circular table top, let me go into the type properties first and here with this side open I can dive in. Select the switch node and the switch input is the one I want to be able to edit. I'll go select drag and drop it wherever I want into my actual digital asset and as you can see immediately the input is also available here. I don't need to go select it from nodes from inside. Now let's go ahead and change a couple of parameters. If I just hit apply you can see select input gives me a slider where I can just change the numbers. But the problem is you don't know what the value 1 or 2 actually represent. You need to be able to visually told uh, using words like whether it's going to be rectangular or circular. To do this I can change the type of this uh, input from an integer into being a menu. So I'll select it to be an ordered menu. Once I select that I can switch over to the menu tab and change things. If I dive into my asset selecting the input I know the value 0 is going to be the top base which is rectangular and selecting value 1 is going to be circular. So I can just go here start typing 0 which is a token is supposed to be going into my rectangular tabletop. So rectangular enter. So 0 is rectangular then I go put 1 as circular enter. So I have 0 and rectangular options available. Now if I go over to my digital asset just hit apply here you can see now I have circle or rectangular options available. Let's just hit apply on this. Now I can change over the table by just selecting the kind of tabletop I want on a drop down. Now the next thing I want to implement is that when I have a circular tabletop, I want the legs to also have a circular cross section. So to implement this I'll dive in and here we have the cross section of the leg. What I want to do is also create a cross section which is circular in shape. So to do this let me put drop in a circle. And if I display that we can see again it's facing the wrong way and all that so let me just reset it. I'll make it polygons and also coming back to my legs we can see that it has some values here. I'll copy the same value, go over to my circle, paste that in, divide it by 2 and I can just copy the same value, paste it into the z-axis. So I have the same cross section in both places. Only the circle is a bit more smaller and it's not going to stick out. Now the problem again is going to be the same. The normals for this circle is facing down whereas for the leg it was facing up. So to correct this I'll again copy this normals check and here I can go paste it, put the leg as one input, like taper in there and also I need a switch node to switch between these two guys. So what I can do is because this switch is already doing all the operations which I want it to, I can right click on this until reference copy. What that means is that it's going to have all of its channels linked to the original node and any changes which happened on this node will happen here too. So let's disconnect these guys and bringing it here. I can connect the leg first and the circle second. So now going over to the switch you can see it's a circle. Going to the normals check it is facing up. Now coming out to my actual table itself it has circular legs. Uh, the legs might have too many faces so I might go ahead and decrease them to a lower level. Now coming out back onto my object I can change it to a rectangular top with rectangular legs or a circular top with circular legs. So that was a very simple implementation. Now the next thing I want to implement is having a custom table top like a custom curve which you can draw and use that as your table top. That also means that you might have to have a custom way of placing legs on the table. So let's see how we can implement that next. Okay guys so that's it for this particular video. I'm cutting it short because it's getting too long. In the next video I will show you how to create a custom table top and also position the legs the way you want to. So till then if you have any critics, suggestions or doubts you can always put them under the comments for this video and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great time.